So I'm having a slight oil leak in two places. One is coming from these tappet covers at the top. You can see that uh, there's oil here uh, at the seal. And the other, I believe, is from those six pucks uh, that are underneath this piece uh, because there's oil that's pooling here. It almost looked like it was coming out of the spark plugs, but I pulled the spark plugs. The area underneath here is fine. It's just uh, leaking from these seams here. So I'm going to lift the bike back up, take off the tank, uh, take off these tappet covers, remove this piece, uh, and get it ready to put in the new gaskets. They won't actually be here for a couple of days, but it's raining outside, so I won't be doing any riding today. Figure I might as well use the opportunity to not only pull this off, but then clean up this uh, piece quite a bit too, because it was painted at one point and I hadn't addressed it when I polished the rest of the stuff. So pulling it off is a great opportunity to make this look good. So actually, right off the bat, I noticed two problems. One is that two of these bolts were actually already loose, and it looks like they're probably stripped. Uh, this one back here just spins, and this one right here also just spins. And this one up here is actually where I'm getting, I think, the most leaks. So it's likely that uh, the fact that this isn't tightening down, it may be more just the pressure than it is the seal. So I'm gonna have to repair the threads both here and here. So these were the pucks I'm referring to and you can see that this is uh, filled with oil. So is this one over here and that's where most of my leaks were coming from. So I assume that's what was causing my problem, uh, but they just pop out and you pop in new ones. I'm gonna clean up the surfaces here really well. And yeah, you can see here that this is destroyed. There's, geez, look at this one. All right, so I'll need to figure out a way to probably use some kind of helicoil or something like that to get those two fixed before I put everything back together. And instead of using a piece of cardboard, I just set it up like a chess set here, a uh, placement for all of the bolts that came out of this piece. And for those curious, this is how the mechanical tachometer works. There's gearing on the camshaft here, and then a matching gear that goes to the cable connection on the other side. So. I'm not sure what the actual ratio is, but as the cam spins, this gear spins, and that spins the cable, that spins the tachometer. So I really have no idea what these pucks do, but I started to pry this one out, and underneath it you can see that oil's been seeping past uh, the seal. So I've got three holes that are stripped. I have one up here, I have one right here, and both of those are on the outside where, again, it goes all the way through. So I can just use a nut on the other side if I want to. Uh, but I realize I do have one more of the strip and that's right here. And unfortunately, this one is on the inside of the gasket. So it's not something I can put a nut on the other side. So I'm going to try to uh, tap this out and put one of those helicoil threads in here so that I can get this one working. I may try to do the helicoil for these two as well. Um, again, low risk since if it doesn't work out, I can just use a nut on the other side. Also for what it's worth, chopsticks are great tools when you're trying to clean and work on motorcycle engines because it's pretty strong wood, but it won't scratch any of the aluminum as you're trying to scrape off uh, carbon fouling or other things that uh, a metal tool might. But I do have those pucks off and the areas cleaned up as well as I can. So those are ready for the new pucks once they come in. I'm gonna get the threads figured out for these three holes and then call it a day. Then I'll pick back up once I have the gaskets and can complete the assembly. All 
right, so this is a kit made by Athena that I ordered on Amazon. It was actually one of the few kits that I found that had the tappet covers, the left, right, and center pieces that I couldn't find for sale individually anywhere else. The kit was pretty pricey, it was almost $80, but again, I could only find used tappet cover gaskets, which the bike being 40 years old means that it's probably no better than the ones that I've got. So it's got those pieces. I'm also going to use the main valve cover gasket, as well as the six pucks for those holes that I still don't know what purpose they serve. But I'm going to get this on the bike, bolt everything back up, and ride it around. Hopefully it'll resolve my oil leak issue. All right, so I've got the rest of the valve cover on, and I torqued everything down to about seven foot-pounds. The manual says between six and nine, so seven felt like a safe bet because I didn't want to risk stripping any more of the threads. Uh, but I've got the valve cover on, and then I also put the tappet covers on with the new gaskets. Did a quick two-mile ride around the neighborhood. Uh, everything seems to be holding just fine. I'm not seeing any oil from the tappet covers or any oil coming from the area where it was previously, previously leaking, so I think those rubber discs uh, just needed to be replaced and that I'm now good to go. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot.